Hi guys, thanks for joining us for another daily devotional. I really hope you guys have been having a great week and are just taking the time to stay in your word and being able to just dive in more into what God is telling us during this time with what's going on in this season. I think we just really need to remind ourselves that we should be in our words, something that's solid, that we know is true when all this fear is going around. So just another reminder for every single one of us to pick up our Bibles or go in our apps or whatever you need to do just to solidify yourself and ground ourselves in a time where everything is just crazy. So with that, I want to go on to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 11 through 21. Today, we know what it is. It's Good Friday, the day where Jesus Christ sacrificed his life so that all of us could be here right now where we are. I know it seems crazy that someone out there would take their lives so everyone else could live but that is just the immense love that he had for all of us that we could continue to live the lives that we are living in sin in joyousness in everything that we're doing that we can continue to do that with him Jesus Christ because he decided that he was going to take all of that pain and that hurt and he would bear it himself. He was mocked, he was beaten, he was bruised, and he was crucified for our sins. No one else's, not his, but ours, yours and mine. He decided to take all of that upon himself, lay on the cross, and still say that he loved his children, no matter what, no matter our selfishness, no matter what we have done to walk away from him, to just not believe in him in this time and doubt his power, but he chose that for himself so that we could live the lives that we are living. And I just wanna focus into 2 Corinthians 5, 21. To listen to the words of Paul, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. We are being given the opportunity to live life anew, to take on a new step in our journeys with God, with Jesus, because he gave it to us. We get to be grateful for the lives that we have today. Even in a sin of an, a season of uncertainty and everything that is going on right now, we still have a life that we get to live and to serve Him every single day. So even in these times, we should reflect and be grateful on the things that we have been given because of Jesus Christ and what He sacrificed so that we could be here. Remember, his love for us and everything that he has given so that you could be sitting here on your phone or your laptop or wherever you're viewing and be able to hear his word and to continue to be able to live life. So a simple sacrifice of staying indoors instead of being with our friends and being social, a simple sacrifice like that can be able to give life to everyone else who is ill and sick so just remember that even in these times, even in our faith, that God loved us. He gave us his son and his son took our sin so that we could live the lives that we have today. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you have an amazing Easter. Happy Good Friday. Love you all.